Hey, welcome to Chef D's Home Cooking. Today, I'm going to make a pasta for my kids. They love pasta. You do a crawfish fettuccine, Chef D style. When they mean fettuccine, when people talk about fettuccine, they're really talking about the pasta. Like fettuccine. You can pretty much use whatever cheese you want. It's just fettuccine. If I were you to reference the spaghetti, it would be crawfish pasta with linguine. But you can call it fettuccine, but it's gonna be crawfish. You can say it with fettuccine. But this is it right here. I have some fettuccine. I got a pan heating up right here. I have some butter. This is the main ingredient. I have some Louisiana crawfish tail. This is actually one pound. You can find it at Sam's. Once again, look at the back. You already been cooked. You know, when you buy crawfish out of package, it's pretty much been cooked already, or pre-cooked, I'm assuming. I have some of my spicy here. I got some, I made up a seafood seasoning. You know, I got a lemon pepper, basil, got a little nutmeg, uh, cayenne pepper, salt pepper. You know, I mentioned lemon pepper, so I did lemon pepper and other ingredients. Also, I have some diced red pepper, sweet red pepper. I have two cups of milk, not exactly, no, I don't, I don't know if I'm using it all, but I got two cups of whole milk. I got some Parmesan, some Parmesan cheese. We're gonna use a little of that. And we got some real lemon juice here. It's gonna bring much flavor. And I made it add some yellow mustard in it, because yellow mustard is great on seafood. I'm also have some butter. And right now, we're gonna add some Butter to the pan, I'm turn them right at high. We'll use about a fourth of butter, maybe more. We're gonna let that melt. Okay, so let that melt down. And we're gonna add the crawfish here. We're gonna throw those in and let them cook for about three to five minutes, season them all up. We're gonna start adding in the milk and the cheese and the pasta. It's a quick dish. If you love pasta, don't really take long. Just make sure you have it all crushed up. Open this crawfish tail. Like I say, only you who is on the crawfish tail. Anything else, I can't, can't tell you what it's going to taste like. And I also have some good cracked black pepper in here, also. This is a good mixture of seafood seasoning I put together. So come on, Boston. But we're going to go ahead and continue building this butter. You can use Whatever one you want, just margin whatever butter you want. And once again, the chef needs his own cooking. I'm going to go on, add the crawfish tail in. Beautiful crawfish tail. And that awesome smelling butter. Mm. And this one, we're going to squeeze with lemon juice in. There we go. You just gonna squeeze some in just to add some flavor to it. A couple of tablespoons. So we're gonna cook these around. It smells good already. So we're gonna add some of your seafood seasoning. So we got it all mixed up. We got some thyme, basil, smelling good, great seasoning. We're gonna work that in. Turn it up some. Get some heat going. The smell is outrageous. Mm.
say everyone had a happy Fourth of July, but just the day after, trying to create a dish right here for the kids. They love seafood, they love pasta. So, I said, we're gonna have some more butter. We're gonna, we're just gonna have the whole stick of butter. So remember, add a whole stick of butter. Trying to create some flavor. One more ingredient too, I love this flavor. We're going to add some wishes here, so like I said, I use a lot of it, I buy it, I buy it by the gallon, so. I'm gonna put a three tablespoons of this in here. Wishes here, so. The cabbage, that's what I'm gonna do for one. We good. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of yellow mustard. Make the flavor right now, so we're gonna be off. Okay, let's get this butter melted in the for about another two minutes. And that's pretty much the color you're looking for. You want to add a little blue down the hot sauce? That's fine, make it even better. I'm gonna taste it in a minute. And then, I mean, this, that's your toy. You don't have to use felatine. You can use elbow macaroni. You can use spaghetti, linguine, whatever pop, bow tie, whatever pop you like. You know, you don't have to use felatine, but we're going to call this sauce and felatine on top of the stove. We're not putting this in the oven or none of that. And the smell is awesome. Taste of this sauce. I'm gonna add some more of this seafood seasoning, and we might. We're also gonna, oh, that tastes good. We have a little pink sauce in it. Okay. And some more cracked black pepper. Yeah. Sweet pepper. Totally forgot about those. That's about uh, not much. You got much more. We're just really putting it in for color, but it's gonna be. A, it got flavor also to them, but and just the cheese. I'm using pepper jack, real pepper jack cheese. Everything comes from family. Okay, let's get another spoon. Again, and that is all. Awesome. I love making pasta, so we're gonna go ahead on start adding in the milk because it's gonna be quick. Start putting in the cheese, the pepper jack gonna bring more flavor, and that's is a beautiful color for pasta. Whatever cheese you want, you don't even have to use it. But I'm using cheese to make a consistency, but pepper jack will be the choice. It will be the choice to go. You can use American. It's gonna be one of That is a beautiful color. We'll add some more in. And when I mean uh, nutmeg, it goes great with uh with cream sauce. You don't have to use much. I know you use it for catering, but I'm telling you, nothing. Let me tell you what it is. 
called nutmeg. We used to call it nutmeg. Well, this nutmeg, but uh, this stuff works great in the pasta. I promise you. It don't take much. I'm telling you, it's, it's awesome. Can't make this stuff up. So we're gonna continue melting this. I'll get a good base of this pasta, and it's gonna be done. Hopefully, you add this, and that's gonna be it. This is all the paper, huh? Like I said, that's the color you want. This is all beautiful color. Continue you melt the cheese down. Go all the way down, we don't want to go too fast with it. this. So I'm gonna make the video go at least 15 minutes, huh? It's a quick meal. You want all the cheese to melt. If you want to add some green onion, go ahead. But you know, I got some cooking for the kids. Some things they're gonna like, but we're not gonna add the green onion. But you can. Never seen it crawfish pasta. I used to make them all the time. I love making pasta. I mean, you can do the same thing. You can use shrimp. I'm not a big shrimp fan, but crawfish I am. You can use chicken in this recipe. Or you can use the whole combination. Crawfish, shrimp, and chicken. Just giving you some idea. We're going to continue. We're going to let this cook about three to five minutes to get a little reduction on it. And we're going to add the pasta and we're going to serve it. Yeah. Going to add a little parmesan. Try that in the oven. You know, just let, you know, cheese make everything better. Not much. Right in this, we're gonna lower it down some more. And we'll taste it again. But this is an awesome color for pasta. You can call it the Cadence Cavatina, but it's gonna be a seven, perfect Cavatina for me. Continue to reduce it. The mustard makes it taste even better with the lemon. Yeah, I just go through a lot of food, let's see what we got. But we're gonna reduce it now. You know what? We want it to stick in the food. I'm gonna wait till it reduce. Smell wonderful. <coughs> okay, we'll let that reduce about three minutes. Pretty much a flavor. This stuff. We're gonna have a couple dashes of hot sauce. This stuff ain't really hot. This is gonna be on the hot sauce. It brings out wonderful flavors also. I love making flavors. Okay, we're getting there already. We're gonna have what's a wonderful pop. You want to try to get your consistency. A little thickening.
You could pretty much, you got this corn starch on, on site. You can pretty much get it done real fast. It's a great chicken and egg, but this is awesome. If you want to do a little slur, I got a little slur here. I'll take it on the corn starch. That's not really sticking enough. I'm pretty much used it that much, but hey, they're going to do a job. Just like that. See that? All thick now. I'm going to taste it. See what corn starch does? Also thickening. See what it does? Didn't use much. Maybe a tablespoon. It's not going to hurt you. Can you Chinese food? Believe me. <laughs> they use a ton of it. You eat Chinese food? They use a ton. They use uh, corn starch by the hundreds of pounds. Let's taste it. Let's see what's right. That's awesome. I'm going to put the rest of my seasoning in there. Maybe a little more. I'm going to blow this way now. Because I'm going to my finger. Lemon juice. A little more salt. And that could be the final seasoning. I'm going to mix that in. I'm going to have to taste some more black pepper. sauce and we're gonna use it with fettuccine. Beautiful. Look at the look at all the flavor in there. I mean making pasta is really simple. All you need is milk and butter, some cheese for some whatever cheese you want for consistency. Slap the mama in here. Pick it up or not. I think you pretty much have to play with it the whole while you're cooking it. When you have to play with it, look at that. Just make sure all that pasta get coated. Just smell one of them. This is some garlic toast. And here you, you got your wonderful dish. Fellatino, time for the show. Y'all let me in the comments. I want y'all to like this video, share this video. It's a simple video. It's gonna be awesome. Share this video. Comment. Like it. Thumbs up. Subscribe to my videos. So right now, we're cooking on three. This, this, this cooking on three channels at one time. So. Well, I'm not lying. 
Okay, we're gonna play it up some, and we're gonna be on. We tell it close in. <coughs> yeah. Crawfish, 17, on top of the floor, we're going to take some, plate it up. Add some crawfish, you know I have to take a picture of everything. Taste of it. Because I have to taste my food for other people. I'm going to taste this. Let it cool off all this. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. This is wonderful, folks. But this gonna be one of my plates. Come on, back, back up around the edge. Just for sure. And once again, this is my crawfish feather senior pasta on top of the stove. Beautiful dish. Thank you all again for watching Chef Lee's Home Cooking. That's so good. I'm filming by myself. I'm gonna give y'all another look at that. That is awesome. That is a wonderful dish. There we go. Keep my camera still. Bring it in closer. I'm gonna let y'all go. That's it. Once again, thank y'all for watching Chef Lee's Home Cooking.